Hey, this is Al Reza. In today's video, we're going to enable and implement WAF, I mean web application firewall in FortiGate. I'm also talking about the attacks that are the threats on layer 7, I mean the application layer in OSI model, right? But guys, I've seen many, many times that the experts in this career, including network administrators, junior cyber securities, and also IT managers, get the WAF run with other security profiles in 40k, including web filtering, application control, and intrusion prevention, I mean IPS. But guys, these security profiles defend your network on layer 3 and 4. They defend your network with IP addresses, port numbers, and the protocols like TCP and IP. But we're talking about the attacks on layer 7 on application. Okay, let's start. As you know, most of the companies have their own public websites in the internet. And there are many, many visitors all around the world come to visit the website. But all is great until now because the business is going to introduce and sell the products and the services through the website. But not all of these visitors are good people. All, a few of these visitors are bad guys and they're known as attacker and hacker. They come to visit the website for bad purpose. They're trying to get some benefit from your organization. They're trying to do something, some destructive action, right? But we're talking about these attacks that they're using them and we're talking about how to face them. Number one is HTTP and HTTPS flood, which is known as DDoS. I'm sure that all of you are familiar with this attack. Number two is a slow loris, which the attacker and hacker is trying to send too many fake requests to the website. And there is another important concept about these attacks, which is named OVASP top 10 attacks which is included of 10 attacks but there are there are some famous attacks in this list that i mentioned them including injection i mean sql and no sql injection uh, security misconfiguration i can tell that server side scripting that guys I have to tell you that WAF doing great on most of them, but not all of them. So in this video, we're going to enable WAF feature, the web application firewall feature on FortiGate, and then we're going to implement WAF on website policy in FortiGate firewall in real environment. All right, let's go to the firewall. Okay, I have to do the scenario with the company's core firewall. In fact, one of the companies that I'm working in to show you how to enable WAF on public websites in real environment. So that's why I have covered certain information on a screen to keep the business infrastructure confidential. Sorry about that. Now let's log in into FortiGate firewall. Yeah, this is our FortiGate environment. To start a task, we have to enable WAF feature in FortiGate firewall. To do that, we go into system and feature visibility. And now here we go, all of the features. As you can see, intrusion prevention, which is IPS, is already configured. And also application control. Now I'm going to enable web application firewall right here and then apply. S changes are saved. And after that, we get into policy and objects to find the website policy. Let me filter incoming in the face to figure out where is the website policy? I'm going to virtual servers and here we go. 
these are all the websites that are public and we published all of them already as you can see this is the website and also we have some exchange http http access to our exchange email and then we get into firewall policy i'm gonna filter incoming interface now i figured out where is the website policy let's get into the firewall policy website firewall policy as you can see this is our website policy and now here we go web application firewall is added and if i edit bingo these are all the signatures and constraints that we can custom all of them into another way right as you can see we can choose allow monitor and block and if i generic attacks and as as i told you before this is sql injection that is blocked by default great we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about that configuration in the next in the future videos guys don't worry about that okay i'm gonna enable VAF and okay the changes are saved now and if i go listen guys if i go to another normal policy as you can see there is no VAF option here so VAF is enabled only on website policies okay now i'm looking for exchange website policy right here here we go. The web application firewall VAF is shown right now. I'm going to enable that to increase the security of Exchange HTTP. OK. OK. And now changes are saved. Now the VAF in our 40 gate on the public firewall is saved and ready to work and we increase the security of our firewall in core thank you guys for watching if you like my video please like and subscribe me for supporting me to make more videos like this thank you i see you soon in the next video goodbye